welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me my name is Brenda Ruto and today I'm going to do a tutorial or rather show you how to bake a cake using two types of flour that is atta flour and the normal white flour which is usually rich in gluten so the reason I'm doing that is because sometimes some people want to eat a um, healthier option of cake and also by the way today I'm also going to use um, banana in substitute of sugar so as you can just know by now is that I'm making a healthy cake so those who don't want to indulge in an unhealthy cake you can probably use this recipe to make a healthier option of cake and enjoy so these are my ingredients let me show you so we are going to have a cup of milk um, we have salt and then these are the measuring cups or the, and the measuring cup and the measuring spoons that we are going to use the baking powder margarine for those who like you can use butter but for this case we are going to use blue band um, which is our margarine and in substitute of sugar we are going to use ripe banana and this banana is actually very very sweet so that's why I chose it and two eggs so these are our eggs and our normal flour so for us we are going to use a jab um, all-purpose home baking flour and this is the atta flour so it's brown in color um, yeah and of course we have our bowls which we are going to use for mixing so the first thing that I'd want to prepare is the mashing of bananas and I'm going to choose well the ripe bananas so I think two should be enough so let me try with the two first and then we see how it goes. So this is just a normal potato masher that I'm going to use to mash the bananas. You see the bananas is already mashed. In our family we don't like a lot of sugar so I just think two bananas will be enough for us. If you're a sweet tooth you can add an extra banana. Um, yeah, I think I don't know if I should add an extra banana, but I'll contemplate that later. So guys, um, what I'm going to do is there's wet ingredients. So the wet ingredients are things like margarine and milk and also margarine, milk and eggs. Those are wet ingredients. So the wet ingredients, I'll prepare them here. And the dry ingredients, which is the baking powder, the salt and the flour i'll mix them here so let's start with the dry ingredients so we need two cups of flour so using the measuring cylinder um it shows you so here it's written one cup so normally the measuring cylinders comes with a label so this is one cup so as i told you i'm going to mix white um flour and brown flour so this is our white flour So to level that, so this is one cup, pour it in here, and this is our brown flour. So I'm also going to take one cup. To make it two cups of flour. So by the way, if you just want to use... Um, white flour you can just use the same recipe it's just that for me i'm making a healthier option um, and the reason i'm using the white flour is because i trust it it has a lot of gluten to hold together the cake so that's why i'm using it so probably next time i'll only use atta so that you can see how the cake comes out so because it's a mixture of flour we are going to whisk it to mix it together So 
So when they are mixed well together, we're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. So again, our measuring cylinder is going to look for one teaspoon. Yeah, this is one teaspoon. So this is approximately one teaspoon of baking powder. Of course, you know the function of baking powder is to rise the cake. So, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So it's just usually up to level. Put it in there. Then you mix it together. So this is done. And then we are going now to prepare our wet ingredients which is a half a cup of margarine. ingredients we now have um, margarine here and remember we are using sugar um, banana in substitute in substitute of sugar so pouring in a well mashed banana so I'm now mixing our sugar sorry our banana um, with margarine, it should be well mixed by the way. So after it's well mixed, I'm going in I'm going to add in the eggs. Two eggs. Regalia because I'm now starting to I'll start mixing up the dry ingredients and the wet, wet ingredients so I might it might get messy so this will help me so the first thing you will have to do as you prepare the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients is to preheat your oven so this is the setting that way this means that the heat will come from up and down and then also the set the temperature at 180 degrees which is down there 180 degrees and the timer you can set as much as you want anyway so um as we preheat later i'll be so messy by then so that's why i need to prepare the pan and preparing the pan i need to wipe it first it's clean but i just like wiping my kitchen utensils first and then use margarine to prepare the pan so just take my hand is clean by the way so so if you have a parchment paper it would be nice but I don't have a parchment paper so that's why I'm using margarine to line So our baking tin is well lined with margarine so I'll also dust using a bit of flour so use a bit of flour to dust so what I'm doing it helps the cake not to stick um, on the tin so you just line it thinly so that's why I'm doing this So the ex excess you just cut it out. 
so that's the excess so our baking tin is ready so i just place it here and i'll use it once this is done the next step remember we have our dry ingredients our wet ingredients so the next step is to mix them up So guys, you start mixing this up. Then I'll need one cup of milk. So this is one cup. And this is our boiled milk. It's hot milk, not warm, sorry. So one cup. mixing this is what we have achieved such a consistency but anyway when you follow the recipe you just get this consistency so it should be it should run but it not it should not be too run yeah. then this is our prepared pan so we're going to pour in So once you pour in, you level the cake so that it comes out leveled. But you might just tap, but I like leveling it using my spoon or anything. After leveling our cake, this is the cake mixture and our oven is already preheated. So I'm going to put in our cake. So you carry it nicely and then you put it at the center and then you just close it and for this cake I'm going to cook it for around 40 minutes so I'm going to adjust the timer and then once it reaches zero the timer will remind me that I need to check on my cake. So guys it's 40 minutes later. We are going to check our cake. So how you check your cake is you use a sharp knife. If it comes out clean, then it means it's done. So we do a lot of work. So it's done. So guys, for it to cool well, you preferably you use a um, rack. If you don't have a rack, just be creative. And then you hold the cake nicely. So the rack allows air at the bottom and at the top and at the sides. So this will be our breakfast tomorrow morning and yeah. So guys I hope you've enjoyed and um, try this healthy option of cake and I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe. Bye.